What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play some more Ocarina of Time. I've been waiting for you, Link. In the last episode, I was like, man, I'm gonna teleport to the Temple of Time, even though it might start a cutscene. And it totally did start the cutscene. I risked it for the biscuit, and I lost. Link, hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six ages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf. The king of dorkiness, Ganondorf. Before that, I have a few things, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown, non, yeah. Another unknown legend of Triforce has been passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikas. And you guys did not hear that beep. Trust me, you didn't. Shh. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle. <laughs> listen up, the Sacred Triangle. Ah, uh, that's funny. The resting place of the sacred triangle. <laughs> the sacred rope. There's a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The fact that they call it a triangle is kind of silly to me. The heart. It just sounds so ridiculous. The heart of uh, the one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. Living in a gangster's paradise. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, is a balance that weighs the three forces. Power. Wisdom and courage, and together they become Captain Planet, or the Avatar. If the heart of the one who holds the Sacred Triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. I don't want to be the governor from freaking The Walking Dead. But if one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, wisdom, and courage. Courage, the cowardly dog. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce. The part representing the force that one most believes in. Nito Burrito. If one seeks a true force, <laughs> that one must acquire two lost. I, I, I had to reread that. Like true force. I like how it's capitalized too. Uh, those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. So happy. Se seven days ago, Ganondorf, the king of thieves, used the door you opened the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. Wait, did I always have the Triforce in my hand though? The Triforce separated into three parts. When the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hands. I didn't know that he touched the Triforce. Didn't he get a wish then? Maybe his wish was to take over the world. Huh, cool. The strength of force of power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Gandorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. But why? He would touch it and then separate again, wouldn't it? I'm so confused. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is... You, Link! Wait, do we not know we had the Triforce? Oops. Well, who didn't know that? That's not even a spoiler, seriously. The other one... Wait, I guess we didn't know that because I didn't make a big reveal when he, when we said that I had the Triforce of Courage. The one who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the Seventh Sage. There's a Seventh Sage? What? Who is destined to be the leader of them all? Let me guess. It's Impa. Oh my god, it's Sheik. Oh my god, she got a gender change. What the heck? What the Pineapple Express? What? Uh, I don't know why Pineapple Express came to mind. Maybe she looks like a pineapple? Not really. <laughs> it is I, Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. Wow, I am so shocked. I apologize for being in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. You know what? It's so stupid that some people believe that Sheik and Zelda are separate people. Like, even after all this, like, years and years and years, like, to this day, people still believe, or some people believe that she can sell their separate characters. Like, knowledgeable people of Zelda games. But this line right here kind of just proves that, right? I apologize for beating you in disguise. Like, what other disguise would she be talking about? Right? Like, that can be, like, a metaphor for something, like, you know, beating me in disguise, like, I don't know, it's, I don't get it. On that day, seven years ago, Ganon Dork attacked Hyrule Castle. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Impa! The islands want to nag the girl. Yeah. She's so bastardly. Oh my god, it's black and white. The third time we're seeing this cutscene. Except now from Zelda's perspective. Actually, I think this is the exact same cutscene, so it is. 
I thought I should entrust the Ocarina to you. I thought that it would be our best chance. Well, yeah, who else would you entrust it to? Your dad that's dead? Ganondork? Would you entrust it to Ganondork? As long as you have the Ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondork could never enter the Sacred Realm, but... <laughs> she said, but... <laughs> Something I could never expect happened. I got his checks changed and turned into Sheik. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondork's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondork had become the evil king, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All that is unfortunate. Quinky Dink. Quinky Dink. I passed myself on as, as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. See this line here too. I passed myself off as a Sheikah. That that's her declaring she is her and her Sheikah the same. Obvi. Oh, gosh, look how happy she looks. Her lips are all curled upwards and stuff into a smile. And now you're back. Uh, the Dark <laughs> Age rooted by Ganondorf. The Evil King will end. Maybe, I hope. The Six Ages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from, from this world. Thus Ganondorf, the Evil King, will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. Uh, <laughs> she said, do me. Or actually, she said, do my. But. <laughs> and here's a weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's defenses the power given to the Chosen Ones. Sacred Arrow of Light! Would have been totally cool if we got this in this, uh, like the last episode as well. If you had enough time to do this cutscene. Because I would have gotten two different kinds of arrows in one episode. That would have been cool, right? Hallelujah! <laughs> Look at my stupid face! It's so ugly! You got the light arrows, and see, the arrows will power, power up! Light of justice will smite evil! Yay! What the heck? Uh oh, is the temple of time collapsing? Am I never gonna be able to transform to a kid ever again? The rumbling! It can't be! Ganondorf must have flushed the toilet! We've had a problem with plumbing forever now! Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. Wait, how's she a traitor? You, you were, you're the traitor, Ganon Thork. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. Wouldn't she, wouldn't she just eventually appear anyways? I mean, she would have had to like try and try and counterattack eventually take back her kingdom. My only, mis my only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. Okay, bye, Zelda. Okay, bye. She's making the same place face Jurudo made. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage, which is kind of the same thing, since, you know, they're kind of one now. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I'll become the true ruler of the world. So, once again, can he not just trap me in this crystal like he just did to Princess Zelda? If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle! I guess he's just too honorable. Okay, goodbye, asshole. Man, that guy's a jerk. <laughs> okay, so instead of actually going to do any of that crap, because honestly, who cares? Hey. Hey. <sighs> who freaking cares about saving the world? We're gonna go back as a kid and pretend none of this ever happened. Yay, goodbye. Whee! Here! <laughs> So I just felt the need to like mimic Link's hair. It's so funny to me. <laughs> okay, so this should be really quick, guys. It pretty much teleports me right there. Uh, I'm gonna look at the song one more time, even though I've already played it like twice. <laughs> oh yeah, we do gotta go back to the house of Skull Trail too. A down, right, right, left. A down, right, right, left. A down, right, right, left. There we go. My poopy song playing skills. Holy crap. Let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Wee. It's time to fall. Oh, it's still nighttime too. Awesome. I, but I think it's totally about to be morning. Uh, yeah, it totally is. 
Yeah, where's the where's the freaking thing? That's not over there. What? Oh, it's across. No, oh, it's over there. Well, my life sucks. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, I did it all by myself. All by myself, mate. Wait. Oh, man, I did it too early. Ah, I messed up the song. Dude! Are you serious? That is... I don't know if it... It might be my C controller, to be honest. It feels really, like, flimsy, and it doesn't always go where I want it to... Well, that doesn't really make sense. Are you serious? Oh, I was gonna say, you better go back tonight, asshole. Here it is. Mr. 100. Hello, Mr. 100. It is time to meet your maker. You destroy the gold skull You got a token proven. You destroyed it. Awesome. Okay, now we just gotta go back into the main menu and we gotta go. And... Well, look at 100. I know it turns red when you get 100. Now, what's this thing? A part right, a, a part down. A part right, a, a part down. Yeah. Ah, concentration hurts my brain sometimes. Ah. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the graveyard. Whee! Goodbye, Link. So long, farewell. Oh my god, here we are at the graveyard once again. Oh, wait. I almost went back into the Shadow Temple. That would have been silly. That's not why we're here. I'm so silly. And... I guess I could have went back to the Temple of Time and then came back here and beat the curse there. Hey, it's Dampe. Stupid Dampe. Stupid dampness. Do we ever check out all the um, bean sprouts? I don't think we ever did, did we? Maybe that'll be another bonus episode thing. We can check out some obvious ones. I don't remember where they all are, to be honest. There, maybe I did use them all. There's, I think there's a few useless ones, though, aren't there? Isn't there? There's probably one or two that I didn't ever touch. Well, whatever. Whatevs. Go into the Hulse of Scotula and see what our prize is. Are you guys ready? After doing this the entire game, we can finally see this weird bald guy. Since you've destroyed the 100 spiders of the curse, the curse on me has been broken. Thank you. Here's a token of my appreciation. Please take it. It's a huge rupee. Worth a whopping 200 rupees! They'll be careful not to get cursed like that! I will chop your legs off, I will chop your arms off, and I will chop your stupid mutton chops off. These guys are all dancing in this weird ritual type thing. <laughs> it's really scary, guys! <laughs> Can I break this box? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if you guys were expecting a big thing for me to do here. I maybe would've, should've planned something, but I didn't. In fact, I didn't even think of what my reaction should be after I got, like, the... 100 Sculptula <laughs> reward. So I was like, ah, oh, shoot, I never thought of a thing, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna remember the song. Alright, that's it! We've completed the game, pretty much. I believe you can go in and, you know, let's go back in. Um, I believe you can get the 200 rupees from over and over and over again. Right? Since you've destroyed... Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, but we can't skip the text, so it takes forever. Ugh. Yeah, he just says the same freaking thing, but you know, whatever. I'm done here. Pfft, you guys are poop heads. <laughs> I hate everything. Alrighty then. Um, songs. Right, I need a thong. I need a song. <laughs> up, right, up. Together, up. <laughs> up, right, up. Together, up. Yay, I did it. I did it! Oh boy! The prelude of light. And we're gonna go back to the Temple of Time. We're gonna turn into an adult and beat some crime. Holy fa- There's a face in this! You see that? You see the face? Let's see if you can see it again. See? The mouth at the bottom, then the nose, and then to the left and right are the eyes and the eyebrows. Or something. That's cool. Never noticed that before. Can we see it in the medallion as well? Uh, nope, you cannot. There, I can tell you right now, there's no face in that medallion again. Oh, so I guess all that's left is Ganon's freaking temple, and then we're done with this game five ever. Yay! Get the freaking sword! Sweet did it! Yay! Yay! Temple of time! Yay!
Well, that was a weird noise. I mean, a room noise when I swung my sword. Never noticed that before. <clears throat> It'd be cool if you could do that cutscene with a big Goron sword and just one handedly swinging that sword. Alright, so. I guess we're heading to Ganon's castle now. I still can't believe we could. Let's, let's just take a look at all our progress here. Every item in the game we have, every place on the map we have discovered, every sculptural, every Gerudo card, every stone of agony. I mean, Stone of Agony is probably not something you want. And we, we actually, we get one more item left in this game, actually, actually, for realsies, actually. But, you know, that'll come in due time, my friends. In due time. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Zombie. Goodbye, Mr. Zombie. Oh, I can't use my arrows. I'm like, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> but I cannot. All right. Ganon's Castle. Should we watch this cutscene now? You know what? Why not? Let's give myself... Well, I guess I already had um, a thing, a, a thumbnail for this episode, but whatever. Link, can you hear me? It's Raru the Sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Dork, is protected by the six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda! Oh my god, it's the power of rainbows! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, so magnificent. Then Link all scarily steps on the bridge like, Am I gonna fall through this? Then Ganon throws like a rock from his big dork. On the very top of his big dork and it breaks it. That'd be funny now, wouldn't it, guys? Alright. So, in the next episode, we are going to start. Inside Ganon's castle. Nice interior decorating. Skulls with crazy teeth. Very impressive. Look how bright it looks outside. That's crazy. It's really dark outside, actually. That's weird. What lays in front of us? None shall know ever because I'm ending the Let's Play off here. I'm too scared to play it ever again. Thank you guys so much for watching this scary Let's Play. And the next one, we will play Majora's Mask. Goodbye!